go and walk off the edge. So if we now start falling and we're going into the loop and now we're in the loop. Okay, so we got the basic setup now that we have stop animations, we have turn in place, we have strafe walking and uh, we got leaning uh, and we get different stop animations best uh, bet on our foot forward or backward, uh, having right foot forward, left foot forward. Everything works really nice except for jumping. We don't have jumping at all. It's just super clunky right now and we need to do something about that as well. So. Let's go into our setup and let's go back here. What we need is we need to blend space by bull. So we want to blend by bull and this bull is in air. So basically if either we are falling, flying or uh, just jumping, uh, we want on false to be grounded, on true to be in air, let's say point 0.2. You know what, point 0.1 is fine. Uh, okay, so for true, this is the inner, so we can just say jump loop, third person jump loop, compile, save, and we hit play. Now we have this super awkward jumping, but the character is jumping while looking around, and in general it works, it blends terribly, doesn't have landing, doesn't have jump start, doesn't do anything. So we're going to make a state machine like here. And we're going to call it in air and it's going to use inertialization as well inside it and let's say that this is 0 0.2 0 0.2 okay so in air we got the uh, add state and this will be jump in place and from jump in place we want to add another state which is jump moving and this is similar to the setup that we have grounded. So we have this idle and local motion states. So this is the same for in air. So we got those two way transition and how we're going to set up the variables for that. Okay, so our current setup uh, is getting uh, our foot direction based on being in idle state but idle state is taking our velocity as a whole being near zero so if we are jumping our uh, z velocity is actually positive or negative uh, which means that we will not be in the idle state so this will be updating constantly and we don't want that so what we really want is to get uh, try get Pound owner, velocity, split structure pin, neck vector, and we want to ignore z, and we want to say near equal, uh, vector is nearly zero, the tolerance will be 0.1, and we're going to make a new val a value called idle ignore z, which I already created by the way. So we just set it here and this is idle but this is an improved idle that absolutely ignores our z velocity and we want to use this for this branch. Uh, I also added a new variable here which is the left up normalized value which is just taking this x and uh, it's mapping range from minus 100 to 100 as normalized minus 1 1 we could as well also do uh, normalize to range it will do the same thing really and just say minus one one uh, but yeah I'm, I'd rather use this and yeah that's it for the even graph now let's go back into anim graph let's go into inner so if we are jumping in place this is going to be easy it's just jump start idle in place this one and if we are moving then we want to say uh, idle ignore z 
not and back to jump in place if idle ignore z is true okay so this one will have just a third person jump loop so we can see the difference between them and if we hit play now let's hit play from here so the previous bigger so if i jump in place i have this jump but if i'm moving i have this jump okay so this jump already has start animation so this is all start jumping not a jump loop um, so what we can do uh, is we can make another state machine and call it uh, jumping in place cut it uh, other state call it start paste it and from it add another state called loop and this is an automatic rule initialization let's say that yeah, point 2 is fine and here mm, jump loop just for now we're going to change it and there's no transition back so this is jumping in place and for in air we have this uh, jump moving which will also have uh, jump in place otherwise it has the start and loop right. jump in place jump moving uh, wait state machine And this will be jump in place state machine start go back uh, loop okay initialization standard blend point two okay so this is jump and this is jump moving and it is just third person and the loop will be exactly the same okay getting back here compile save play so now it acts the same from our perspective but it's a bit different because uh, okay I don't have I think enough space to test it yeah okay mm, we have to set it up properly okay so jump in place will do the start and then for loop we need to find the loop animation so jump uh, oh no not loop do we have loops what we don't maybe it's differently called maybe fall yeah falling loop we got this one so it goes just here so this is the falling loop and let's make this transition a bit more smooth let's say 0.35 and this loop animation is looping and this start animation must be not looping okay and now getting back into jump moving for our loop we'll have also this falling loop which is in place animation and this is looping animation and for start we need to have non-looping animation for start so start will be different depending on our footing so jump start we have idle start that we already use and then we have left foot right foot uh, running start and walking start 
So what we need to do, we need to make a blend space that I already created for this, uh, which is a jump start blend space. And how it's being set up is that on the X axis, we have the foot left question mark, which is from minus one to one. So minus one means right foot, one means left foot. And there's no interpolation here. And velocity is from walking, which is our 180, to uh, running, which is our 360, and has a small interpolation time, and it has a target when blade of four. So this is walking, uh, and this is running start. And you can see it's already going into this loop. So we can save and use this directly. So now if we go back uh, here, so, so instead of this, you can do jump blend space and we can use our left up normalized, which is foot left. And we can for velocity, uh, we can say that we need our, well, forward velocity which is already a variable in the AGR um, movement variables. So if our forward velocity is not positive, so let's say we're moving backwards or we will uh, be strafe walking, then it will just take the walking value of 180 because it's uh, not scaled and uh, clamped. Okay, so let's go back here and now if we jump in place we get this jump if we jump while moving we get this jump and this is the jump of just walking and this is the jump of running and it's going into a loop automatic so let's go here jump Okay, but in order to see the actual loop, we need to be able to fall behind the map itself. So let's maybe take this, copy the stairs, move them here. Make another copy and make another copy. Then we could maybe take one of those elements as well. Okay, set it somewhere around here. Okay, and now we can nicely walk off the ledge and start falling. So we have to change one more thing. We have to go into details of this uh, word settings. And we must say that our kill velo uh, Z is this value, not minus 1000. So now we can test it out. We can go and walk off the edge. So if we now start falling and we're going into the loop and now we're in the loop. 